And I should mention that if you run this rig through your field, there's a strong chance of having ironitis in your corn. Hey guys, I'm going to put a little disclaimer into this video. This video was supposed to be about my rail cultivator and how I've turned it into a side dressing rig, but I completely went on to a tangent about having good drainage on your farms. So as I was editing this video, I kind of realized that, so I figured I need to put this little snippet in the beginning of it so you guys kind of understand what's coming and how this video is put together. I could have split it up into two different videos, but I'm going to just put it together as one video. The first half is going to be about my roll cultivator and how I use it as a side dress rig. And I did that this year to try and get some more nitrogen to the corn after all the rain, but eh, I don't think there's much shaving with the corns out there. But then it turns into the tangent about uh, having good drainage when after I got my drone up in the up into the air to actually see how bad my front plot of that corn is so enjoy the video we'll catch up after before i filled it i wanted to come out here and do a little test into the corn i'm not running it very deep here as you can tell but here's kind of how it would go i wanted to see if this corn if it could guess go under the machine and it looks like it's going to be able to do that the leaves here are ripped up pretty bad, um, but that's actually because this hail, corn's been hailed on twice. But if we go up here to the front to look at how it's going underneath the tractor, I really thought it would bend, but it's, it seems like it's doing just an okay job of it. You guys can hear me here. See, it's bending underneath the saddle tanks pretty decently. And then for the main part of the machine, it's basically bending all the way so, looks like it's a go. I about forgot the most important part to add to the tank. As I'm sitting here sweating in this tractor because the AC ain't working very good, uh, get some cool drone shots for you guys. I want to point something out. If you look, ever watch the MM Millennial Farmer, which I assume you do if you watch this channel, uh, then you see that master pipe layer guy, and they talk about drain tiling and how having good drainage is all really good for your farm, but it gets a bad name because it's get, it has runoff and everything like that. I want to show you the difference between a part of this field that has had drain tile pulled up it to drain it and the part of the field that has not. I mean, we're gonna go, I'm gonna shoot you guys over to this and I'm gonna keep talking at you. But if we look here, down right there at the bottom of the field is where that inlet and all the water's run up to. We'll back up here a little bit and then I'll throw the drone up higher in the air. And there are basically three runs of tile and that have been gone up this field. Here's how much moisture that we've had and as the biggest problems as we call as that we've had so far. And if you look at it here, here's there I am sitting. Right there, there are three tiles ran through this field. And this will be this corn right up here in front of me. If you guys can see that, see how it's nice and tall? That corn has a perfect stand to it. You know the difference is that that's exactly where a tile run is. That's the difference between having good drainage on a field and bad drainage. Now granted this has been a very very drastic year. Like I said this field got 10 inches of rain in 10 days. I have that video of a millennial farmer checking out 6 inches of rain. Uh, I'll put that link up there. At that point I'd only had 6 inches of rain but this field got 10 inches of rain in 10 days. 
not good for the corn. I have a good enough stand that I didn't rip it all out to do a replant. I did plug some corn in in some places, but this field's now got over 12 inches of rain on it. And it's like that just goes to show how good drainage is for your fields. It's like a field can handle it if you 12 inches of rain if you have drainage underneath it. And that's why this field's going to be getting more drainage here before very long. So anyways, I'm, let's get back to cultivating here. Take a couple more shots. Sorry for the little bit of a rant, but it's just that just kind of goes to show what it takes to grow good corn and good drainage is definitely one of those aspects. Oh, it feels good to be out of that tractor, but I'm going to end this video here. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to put any more UAN on. I mean, that corn's pretty tall and the fields don't look that great by any means, especially being out in there and after flying that drone. This being the first year that I've uh, technically owned this farm here, I was really hoping to get a, you know, hit the ground running type of yields, but mother nature hasn't dealt me that hand this year. So I figured I needed to help the corn out a little bit with all the rain, just side dress and give it a little bit of nitrogen. But with uh, the amount of corn that's actually out there, I'm gonna say that it's probably gonna be okay with the 170-ish the pounds of um, NH3 that I pulled on, plus I put on another like 20 pounds or 30 pounds of nitrogen uh, dry when I spread my fertilizer on it this spring. So whatever the crop's gonna be, it's gonna be at the end of the year. I'm thinking probably 130-ish bushels on this uh, show plot here behind me just it just got ripped up. I mean, either the field has got, it's either flat or sloped and the slopes ran so much water down them when they got all that rain, it just destroyed it. And so luckily the main part of this field, it's about a 50 acre field, um, it looks pretty decent and it's kicking off. So at least this part of the field will still be good. And I split planted that planter with the same hybrid on and half the population on our half Half the side was running a variable rate population and the other was running a standard rate of 32.5. So maybe I might be able to see something at the end of the year looking at that, but I'd say all the data that I can collect off of the show plots are done for. So, but thank you for watching. And I guess the good news is, is that my uh, UAN bill is gonna be a little bit lower than I thought it was. So we'll catch you on the next video, guys.